Hello guys, welcome back to our channel and today's video we're gonna try to work on that jet ski Long story short, we got these two jet skis 2002 GTX, 2008 GTI uh, This one is not turning on uh, We'll go into details of what's going on and see if we can fix it or not The 2002, the, the owner said both of them um, Last time he used them two years ago, both of them was running fine He tried to fire this one, the 2002 and we checked it it was running fine we tried this one and oh what you get is nothing sometimes it clicks and sometimes it try sorry for the noise again okay that's all what it does like you can hear here So I'm not sure, so before, uh, let's give you some more information It wasn't doing li like this, it wasn't even trying to send signal to the starter It was just clicking only at that solenoid here, the starter solenoid And when I jump these two posts here with a screwdriver, it was trying to do this But if I don't jump it it just like clicking clicking I removed the starter and when I removed the starter and I connected to the battery outside the starter was fine um, so I'm not sure then I installed the starter back and after I installed the starter back every time you hit it feels like the starter wanna kick in so I'm not sure if it's locked motor or not so that's what we gotta try to do we're gonna remove the coils remove the spark plugs and see if we can turn the engine by hand so we took the three spark plugs out and we have two plugs has oils on them you guys can see here it has oil all the way this one was uh, I think that's cylinder three yeah no that's cylinder one so one has a lot of oil two has a little bit and three came out dry so i'm gonna try to see if I've, after i remove the spark plugs we'll cover and see if actually it's gonna turn or not just yep so as you guys can see and here it's crank now so i think the problem is the oil that was here into spark plugs heads or whatever cylinder heads and i think that was too much to compress the engine so i think our problem is that oil leaking in the spark plugs so we we got a new solenoid, we got a new starter and a new battery definitely because both of them need battery but before we change anything I wanted to make sure that the engine is not seized and I don't I don't think so the engine is seized I think our problem is uh, that oil into the cylinder that was hard to compress so i just want to see if it's gonna fire or not so i'm gonna clean the spark plugs put them back in and see if it's gonna fire up or not we clean the spark plugs put the the coil over and see if it's gonna run or not or it's gonna be this can see it runs rough a little bit with smoke coming out so I think that's because it's burning the oil that was here so I'm not gonna smell that burning oil looks like also I'm not sure if this stuck here so we're gonna have to figure this one out and uh, we'll go from there so our next step is we're gonna place an order we're gonna have to disassemble the valve cover first and see what's going on 
but I think so these spark plugs tubes are leaking so that's what we're gonna do next is change these uh, spark plugs tubes and uh, see if we're gonna get rid of the oil or not okay so we found that the, the cable is fine and actually the whole throttle body is stuck uh, I tried to use that um, I think that loop line was hanging somewhere and uh, I looped where is the spring here and at the end I removed that silencer and uh, we were what we did the door yeah the, um, I call it the door but I, I, I the, the gate the throttle, the throttle by gate yes the gate. so we door or gate the yeah, same <laughs> we were able to get a long nose plier and keep pushing on it just to help it to move so yeah. once you start to actually prime it to start to move the whole thing start to move it got stuck like in the pull in uh, like in the full throttle position but we pushed it back we kept pushing it forward and backward and now it sits if you can see here that's the part this is the part that was stuck it wasn't moving at all yeah, and I but think it was because the whole gate is stuck. The whole gate was like, because the gate usually is like like this. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, like this. But I think it was pushed forward more, so it was stuck around the housing. So when I push it from the bottom, it starts to open it, and the whole thing starts to move. Yeah. So but our plan actually it was we're gonna we was gonna remove the whole thing yeah, and gonna, start to clean we're it. We're gonna add more uh, of the loop of the loop and try and hope that we'll, we'll fix it if not then we're gonna have to remove it see if we can clean it or maybe replace it definitely an oil is burning there's yeah there's a lot of oil inside the cylinders yeah. so the oil will burn out but yeah. the next, next step, step yeah we're gonna remove these three pipes for the spark plugs put new spark plugs and hope we will have it running with no issues and that will be it if that the case we're gonna have a we will have a good deal for these two jet skis so uh, we'll see after we receive the parts and uh, change these we'll show you how we're gonna change these uh, spark plugs pipes okay guys we're back it's about a week we placed the order for the spark plug tubes and uh, the gasket for the cover um, I hope we order the right parts I think we got uh, three tubes here yep and these are the spark plugs sorry pipes not tubes we got from Jetski International they should be an uh, original ones so before we start I would like to again go over the diagnosis we did so the first one we got again we got both of them for price of one because this one is not running again we just buy things and we don't know what we're gonna face but we just okay it might be a good deal might be a bad deal we don't know but this one here's a 2008 it was first when you hit the start button like just click at the solenoid of the starter it's still like typical symptoms if you have a bad starter solenoid but you have not to stop at that we jump the starter solenoid and start to give like a little bit juice to the starter itself so it was like as you guys saw before we clean anything uh, or here it was like just like a little bit like the starter wanna go so we took the starter off and I it's blindly I had to feel where are the two balls that hold the starter and the power cable and I took the starter off I connected to the battery and the starter is pinned freely but just in case I order a, a new solenoid, a new starter and before I install any of them I wanted to check the spark plugs and see if I can turn or crank the engine or turn it by hand so that's a very common failure point on these or after many hours the pipe seals gets dry and bad and get oil into the cylinder heads and that's why it was too much oil from being sitting for two years that it's too heavy to com be compressed and that's why it I felt like the engine is like seized or locked because I felt like the starter wanted to go uh, but there's too much to for the starter to spin so once I remove the spark blocks I crank it and it was cranking 
and I cleaned the spark plugs way back in and everything run fine except there is definitely a lot of smoke from the oil sitting inside and it's gonna keep doing this because it's gonna keep burning the oil so that's how we reach the point that we're gonna change these spark plugs pipes we're gonna definitely change the seal for the cover because every time you open here you need a spare to check it and make sure you be ready with a, a new seal so uh, I just wanted to give you like a step-by-step -step how you start start was if you have a click start with the start as you know if you jump it and there is juice going to your starter it might be just the starter solenoid but you have to make sure when you jump your starter solenoid is gonna keep going it's not gonna stop in our case it was a little like try to crank it just not not continuous cranking okay so that's why i rolled out the starter solenoid i went to the starter i removed it it was spinning freely then that's why i said okay before i do anything else i need to make sure the engine is not seized or locked the engine was not locked once i removed the spark plugs it cranked fine so now let's go ahead there is a plastic piece here we're gonna remove it like right out like this okay i uh, I don't think so I lost it but it dropped it somewhere here and you have one two wish you guys can see in the camera but we have about total eight bolts these are star I think they are size eight and it has a specific sequence um, when you bolt it back on with a torque uh, specification we're gonna go over this but before we do that we're gonna have to remove the coils back and we have new coils we bought new coils and we're gonna remove the spark plugs we have new spark plugs so let's remove everything coils spark plugs take the eight bolts out get the whole cover off then we'll show you the pipes and we'll show you how to replace them so we got the coils and spark plugs out now we're gonna remove these eight bolts here and they are etrox 8 size 8 if you have an impact you have to be careful don't strip them if you don't have an impact you still have to be careful don't strip them these are very easy to strip so you have to be easy on them i'm gonna remove actually the extension and see if i can do it without the extension uh okay i'm not gonna use an impact because i'm worried about actually it's not bad so if they are very tight i will recommend you guys to spray it first so with some like WD-40 or anything so you don't you don't strip any of them again I was going to strip this one okay okay so we're gonna keep going and remove all eight and then now if they are loose like this if you have a an impact you can use it since you already broke the the torque of them so they should come out very easy okay guys we got out and check that's the was the worst one and you see how it's stuck to the cover and i think that's why it's leaking bad because i'm sure these seals are completely dry that's why it's leaking a lot so we're gonna remove it from the cover remove the other two let's try to hold it with that rock and try to twist it and remove it now we're gonna make sure we keep it somewhere uh, get some shop towel and leave it like this so i don't get any dirt from the inside the bolts everyone stay in place i didn't remove them and i'm not sure if you can remove them completely or not but i don't recommend so everyone go back to its spot I'm sure when you do that job it's not gonna rain and not too windy so you don't get a lot of um or any dust into your engine so let's put that on the side now then be back, remove the other three tubes, and put the new ones in. Now, as you guys can see, the seal here is very, very dry. That's the top one that was stuck to the cover. And the lower one also is very dry. Let's remove the others. And they are very easy and simple. Just like build them out, they will come out. This one is pear shape, but still like dry and you can see the itch here is like pent here so uh, that's why there was oil leaking everywhere that was the best one but still actually not not as dry if you guys can see it moves a little bit 
let's compare to this one which is very very stiff to compare to that one that still has some flexibility that's more stiff and the worst one with this one it's completely hard hard to to move or anything compared to this one but anyway we're gonna remove all three and replace all three again what we're gonna do now is exactly reverse of what we just did I'm not gonna clean inside or anything I'll let the oil if there's any oil inside the spark plug hole burned by itself I gotta try to miss inside so let's open our three pieces here make sure it's the same same one so it's the same lens same everything looks a little bit different in the top but definitely will fit again this is a very soft again so just gonna drop them in yep till they go inside all the way down before we do that guys make sure we put some oil in both areas Now we have all three pipes in, we've got some oil on them. Now we need to put the cover on and again we have the new seal. The old one doesn't look bad but we're gonna change it anyway. And as you guys can see we need to scrape all these like rubber, sticky old rubber here from the old casket. And we wanna make sure when we do that we don't get dirt inside. So make sure you have something to cover around when you scrape these old uh, rubber that stick to the top here so you don't get any dirt in and make sure like it's scraped to the outside not to the inside so we're gonna go ahead and do that then we'll take you inside and put the new seal on the, on the cover in the inside and we're gonna have also put some oil around like what we did here and then uh, we'll install it back okay guys we got it as much as we can clean again it's not off the engine to drill really do it very good i had some like 2000 grit sandpaper uh, that i used a little bit to remove but most of the gunk first came was just a shop towel rub it around got most of the gunk there was some a little bit more sticky that i used a 2000 grit to clean around came out very nicely now let's go inside here and that is a copper so that's a cover, I left it like this, uh, again, I don't want to miss the bolts, I want to make sure every bolt go back into the same spot, again, it's just me, hesitation, or I'm worried about these things, like cross-threading, so I just want to make sure every bolt go back into exact same one that came from, um, so uh, let's flip it around. Let's get the old gasket off. That is a new one, so it's gonna go. I wanna make sure it's exact the same one. It's exact match, same size, same everything. You guys can see how this one is very stiff compared to this one is very soft so we're gonna get some oil just have some oil here after we got everything in place you just like get some oil again all the way around in the top and that will help when you Put it back, it will seal and it's not gonna really st just stick. It's gonna help with uh, when you torque everything down, it's gonna help seal everything very good. That's why you put the oil. Uh, you can use a seal gasket if you like um, gasket seal. I think that's what they called. You can use it, but I think oil will do the job just fine. You don't need to really use a seal gasket. If you have it you can try to use it but seal gasket or sorry gasket seal if you're gonna change it in the future 
it will be so sticky to the engine cover to the engine uh, head over there and it's gonna be hard to really remove that gasket seal from it you're gonna have to really sand it and scrape it so I don't recommend just use some way that will be more than enough so let's head back to the ski put that back on and torque it to the specification and will she use the correct um, numbers or sequence let's say it right correct sequence on the bolts okay now we're ready to torque them and the torque for them is going to be about 97 inch pound 97 inch pound and we starting with these four in the middle then the two toward the front then the two toward the back okay so here we're going to start with number one two three four so these four will be like a cross one to the one toward the front two three four then five six seven eight so we're starting with always with the one toward the left side in the front one two three four five six seven eight ninety seven inch pounds so go ahead and torque all of them and we'll be back Now we're gonna put the spark plugs in. We, I have a new spark plugs, but I'm not gonna use the new ones now. I wanna make sure I don't have it. I burned the oil that in there first. Then after this, we'll put the new one, make sure I don't ruin the new ones. You can put the new one, then change them later. But again, these are doing the spark. They are doing the job so far. So let's use them. Make sure we burn the oil um, in the, inside these plug holes first before we put the new one so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the old ones so now all, everything is connected let's fire it up but before we do that i will get the hose ready i'm not gonna turn the water to fire that engine first then turn the water on i will leave it running and see if it's gonna get clear of the uh, smoke or not that means we're burning the oil inside so uh let's go ahead and crank it up. a good sign again guys it was smoking like crazy when we turned it on before we replace all these plugs and now it's perfect i don't didn't see any even uh smoke coming out of it so that's mean we solve our issue here we'll keep you guys updated if there is any change and if you guys have any comments about what we did if we did anything like you think you, you guys think that we should do it a different way let us know if you guys think that's helpful for you guys um, these are like a tutorial on how to check if your jet ski is not running and just clicking a lot of people was just talking about even the starter solenoid battery definitely battery if you have a bad battery um, you want to make sure you have a good charge of battery before you try to start your non star jet ski then again, we'll mainly talk about the starter solenoid, maybe starter, but I didn't hear or I didn't read anybody talking about, like I, I read a couple thread that didn't continue about same issue, like they tried to um, jump the starter solenoid and still like they can get it to 
it's continued to click even when the jambes are starter solenoid or just give them a little bit like this and they thought that the starters and the starter was fine then the thread stopped here so um, it's kind of continuation if you guys have the same issue with the same problem you guys know that how to uh, I want to say how to check first make sure your engine is good make sure your engine is not seized and that's how you check it to get the spark plugs out and try to crank it or try to turn it by hand if you if you can reach here get that rubber boot away and like get the, something uh, to turn the engine but for me uh, I was able to just try to crank after I removed the spark plugs as, as you guys saw and everything was cranking fine um, I hope these videos help for you guys the last thing we're gonna do is just I'm gonna take the spark plugs out make sure they're they are dry no oil then if everything good we'll put the new spark plugs in and that will be it and we'll be ready for the season in a couple of months here have a good one guys